Whether you're visiting our area for the Covered Bridge Festival in Park County or you live right here, you know the scenic bridges are the inspiration for the festival. They also inspire dozens, perhaps even hundreds of artists. News 10's Ross Rawling met one of those Covered Bridge artists, a painter, when he stepped off the beaten path. Big Raccoon Creek provides a continuous hum as it flows over the dam in Bridgeton, Indiana. The mill, rebuilt in 1870, a fixture on the banks. But it's that bridge spanning across this scene of serenity that's inspired the name of a festival that's kept folks coming back to Bridgeton for almost 60 years. Sunsets and sunrises and just a lot of things that would just take your breath away. Dolores Collings hasn't missed a covered bridge festival. You see, she lives just outside of town. 83 years young, she's had a life that's yielded four children, eight grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, and thousands of paintings. I definitely think that painting makes you see more. She remembers the day she picked up a brush. That was August the 29th, 1960. It's been a great escape ever since. It makes me look more and observe nature and the, the effect that light has on everything. The beautiful world right there around her, Park County scenes brought to life. From the courthouse to old barns, and of course, there's that bridge. Uh, it is probably the most popular one that I've ever done and sells the best. If you have any bridge to bridge paintings left when the festival's over, <laughs> it's not any good. <laughs> She's got no plans of putting down the paints. Well, as long as my eyesight holds up and my health is good for now. So know that if you're too busy to slow down sometimes and take in those wonderful moments life has a way of presenting, just like that oh-so-familiar bridge, Dolores Collings has you covered. In Bridgeton with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, I'm Ross Rawling, News 10. Beautiful artwork there. Listen to this. While he was serving in Indiana, U.S. Senator Birch Bayh displayed several of Collings' painting in his office in Washington, D.C.